Oh, he's on, he's on, he's on, he's on, he's on. Yeah, another nice one. Come here. Oh, yeah. They're progressively getting bigger and bigger. This guy's bigger than the last one. So number three is definitely bigger than the last one. Hey guys, today I'm over at Rancho Mirage, a little community near my house in, in Maricopa. They've got this little pond area here on this side and the other side. This is where I met Hank for the first time who was fly fishing on the bluegills. I ended up getting a new uh, Tecana rod and I set it up and I'm going to go ahead and try to fish here and see how many bluegill we can get before dark. So this is my uh, new rod here. Of course it's kind of upside down. Cotcler Campola Mini ten Tenkara Rod. I've tied on a very small fly here. Let me get over here and I'll show you. 12 foot rod. I tied on an orange fly. Little guy. Right here. Let's see how many bluegill we can get. Brought guy about an hour here before it gets dark. I did come here with my other Tenkara rod practicing last week before I broke that one and I think I got about 13 bluegill <coughs> out of here and I'd say about three four of them were pretty decent little sized guys compared to what I have over at Pacana. Let's get the line a little wet. This works very similar to a regular fly rod it just doesn't have a reel. You go with more of like a 10 to 2 motion when you swing back just about 10 o'clock and then to 2 o'clock just like a little bit of a whip motion out here. My name's James Hurley. The channel here is called Hooked by Hurley. Kind of fish all around Arizona. Lately I've been kind of sticking in Maricopa where I live. Gas prices have gotten high. The fish have gotten picky. I've been waiting for all these stock trout and for the bass to kind of get out of their fall transition. And then I'm going to start going in and hitting some more places in town. But basically I just fish around Arizona, try new things. Try to catch what I can catch. You can see I got a whole video series on the community parks out here where I went out and visited them. Tried to catch stuff in those. I'll probably go back through and revisit a few of those. I also have an Instagram at Hooked by Hurley. That's where most people reach out to me. It's the best place to message me at if you guys want to get together and go fishing sometime. I'm always down to go fishing, meet new people. We can go fishing at one of your parks or if you want to come out here, it doesn't matter. I can travel to you. Um, you don't even need any fishing gear. I've got all kinds of fishing gear for bass, trout, bluegill, catfish, carp, whatever. You guys want to fish, I can do it. Or I can at least try to do it <laughs> and help you. Uh, all you need is an Arizona fishing license. It runs uh, 37 bucks for a year or $55 if you're a non-resident. I'll leave a link to the Arizona Game and Fish Department down below if you're interested and don't already have a license or you can go to probably Walmart or Big Five or any local sporting goods store probably will sell them but they do check I've gotten carded quite a few times in my videos you'll see I think there's even times I've been carded where I wasn't on video okay we found some we definitely found some there's another hit right there I don't think you can see it oh there was a hit and run right there oh he just came up and smacked it did he get it no Come on. Okay, we found them. All right, let's get back over there. Oh no, we got one. I was just about to cast it and he smacked it. Ha <laughs> ha, first one, Dave, first one. There we go. Boom. A little tangled on my line. Let me set this down so it doesn't get tangled on anything. All right, and I'll show you guys my new little forceps I picked up online just to help me try to get the small flies out of their small mouths. So, first bluegill down. You can see right there, hooked right in the mouth. We finally found them. Okay. Number one. Thanks, buddy. So, I'm letting it hit the surface, holding the tip. There it goes, there it goes. Got him, got him, got him. He's running. He feels good. Woohoo! Come here. 
I think he might be just a hair bigger than the last guy. Let's see. Oh, he's definitely a little bigger than the last guy. <clears throat> Boom. Right there, guys. That's like a perfect little bluegill right there. See that? Right in the mouth. Get my little pliers here. Come here. There we go. Perfect blue bluegill. Definitely like a hair bigger than the last guy. They put up a nice little fight. So there's two down. There was another one. Oh, he's on, he's on, he's on, he's on, he's on. Yeah, another nice one. Come here. Oh yeah, they're progressively getting bigger and bigger. This guy's bigger than the last one. So number three is definitely bigger than the last one. He almost swallowed it, so that's what's good about having these, these pliers. Much darker colors on this guy too. Got it. All right, there we go, guys. Whoa. Line was tangled on him. This is a dark one. As you can see, a little bigger than the last guy. Almost palm size. You know, almost palm size there. Pretty dark one. There you go, bud. Okay, so I don't know when the camera died, but I was up to six bluegills. And uh, then I looked and my camera wasn't recording. So I don't know how much of any of that it got or missed. But I'm going to go back up to this front corner try to get one more here before it gets dark using that orange fly oh we got that guy we got that guy we got him all right number seven one of the smaller guys that's probably why we kept getting bumped and not hooked number seven up against the beautiful sunset in the background look at that Right on the tip. Alright, number seven. You're going to be the last guy as the sun is setting. Thank you, number seven. And thank you guys for watching the video. Stick around for the next one. If you like this one, give me a, a forceps up, whatever. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks, buddy.